Hey guys, Ryan Cardi here once again. I think the date's August 19th. <clears throat> Actually, yesterday was my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. Love you and miss you. <clears throat> um, dealing with this chronic wasting prion disease. Actually, um, today I had to walk up to Walmart <clears throat> to get um, some stuff to drink. I usually grab some water or some coconut water or whatever. I put the apple cider vinegar inside there from the remedies from the Mad Cow Remedies page with the apple cider vinegar, coconut oil, and dimethyl sulfoxide, which I will gather rainwater. Sometimes drink some of that um, if I'm able to, if it rains that much, because um, I can't afford anything. I have no money. Um, I have to use food stamps just to get food and uh, drinks and, and all that nonsense and stuff. So I try to <clears throat> treat myself home remedy wise as best as I can. Uh, the medical field doesn't believe me that I have this, which is fine. I know prion diseases are extremely difficult to diagnose, but yes, I have chronic wasting prion disease from taking um, elk antler velvet spray um, about four or five years ago. I actually stopped in the GNC store and talked to the guy down here in Turnersville today before I went to the Walmart um, on my okay days. Once in a while, I can get out and go to the store myself and do some things for myself. Um, it's difficult to do by myself, but I I try to muster up as much as I can to be able to do it. Um, it's hard for me to leave the house by myself anymore. That's how bad I am. But uh, I went there. I talked to I talked with the guy from there for, before. With this guy, I haven't spoke to before. Um, this is the first time I spoke to him or seen him, and I explained my whole um, situation, my whole story about um, how I got a prion disease from taking that supplement, um, how I figured it all out. Um, and anybody taking those supplements, I see people post on YouTube about um, their gains from taking uh, deer antler velvet spray or elk antler velvet. Um, you're gonna get a prion disease eventually, it's inevitable. Um, the deer, elk, and moose antlers are highly rich in nervous tissue and prions, just like their brains are. And, <clears throat> just like their nervous system is it's all part of the same same area so anybody taking that stuff is eventually going to get a prion disease it's inevitable there are abnormally shaped proteins inside those supplements that is what I took um, I can't believe that there's a guy on YouTube saying if it's a spray stay away he he makes his own I guess um, and sells it to doctor's offices he shows you that it's a dark brown almost looks like um, chocolate milk kind of sort of um, he says the sprays are actually not the real thing, but actually they had to be because that's what I took and I got a prion disease from it. So there had to be some kind of um, prions in there somehow, some way, and it had to be some kind of legit um, supplement or substance that I took from New Zealand because it had it had prions in it and that's how I got sick and I got a prion disease from it. So um, e either way, it doesn't matter. I mean... Regardless, any of those supplements are going to give you a prion disease if you take them over time. It took four or five years. I took a spray. Um, so that's why I got it so quickly because the aerosol form of it is so much more highly infectious and uh, transmissible. So, um, yeah, I just um, I explained everything to him in there at the GNC. He actually took the product off of the shelves. Um, that's how I mean he was he was he was blown away by everything that I was telling him. Um, I told him he could do all the research himself himself and he could look everything up himself and everything which he's going to. But um, he actually believed me. It's it's crazy how strangers believe me about this. But my own family and my own parents are hard pressed to believe me and to believe that that this happened to me and stuff. I mean it could happen to anybody. I mean it happened to me unfortunately. Um, and you know I'm contagious and infectious to other people right now and um, I know that at least my youngest son Ryder has it because I started showing signs and symptoms right after he was born and this stuff gets passed um, genetically in vitro um, and it's also spread via saliva urine and feces when the infected individual or animal is in the full-blown stages of the uh, prion or chronic wasting disease um, disease so, um, yeah, I think, uh, I mean, that's great that he took it off the shelf for, uh, to, to help other people, um, warn other people not to take that stuff because you will 
eventually get a prion disease and it's deadly and there is no cure or treatment for it. Uh, I'm taking my home remedies and stuff and it's helping a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to stay active. Um, I don't eat a lot. I mostly drink water because it uh, creates, creates increased thirst um, dramatically. It does something to the antidiuretic hormone levels in your body and your brain and stuff. Um, so it causes extreme thirst. Um, I don't, I can't eat a lot all at one time or else I end up throwing it back up. Um, that was actually one of the signs and symptoms was stomach issues, digestion, going to the bathroom, constipation, and vomiting. Um, I would vomit, uh, for no reason, um, from this stuff as well. Um, I remember I used to get ready for work at the hospital, um, and I used to eat breakfast waking up, um, eggs, toast, coffee. Within a matter of 10 or 15 minutes, I'd run to the bathroom for no reason and throw everything right back up. Um, and it happened quite a few times. I remember it specifically at my uh, mother-in-law's and father-in-law's house when we were staying there, living there with um, <clears throat> before we had our own house and everything. So um, it's, just cr it's just crazy that these products are being sold and they're out there and people are taking them and people that people are buying them and everything all these products contains prions because it's made from the nervous tissue from the top of their heads and the antlers on these animals and you will get a prion disease um, I don't care if people believe or not believe I'm living proof um, that's how sick that I am because I took that stuff and I wish to hell wish to God that uh, I never took that stuff. Um, I wish I could go back and change it, but I can't. What's done is done. So I'm trying to warn other people because I don't want it to. I don't want that stuff to just destroy their lives the way it destroyed my life, my kids' life, my wife's life, and possibly other people around me and stuff. So um, yeah, um, all that stuff should be banned and taken off the shelves. Uh, elk antler, velvet spray, any of the pills, any of that stuff. Um, any of it um, is, is just infectious and it has prions in it so do not take it guys do not take it warn other people about it tell your friends tell your family members uh, if you're any any of your grandparents taking any, any of those kind of supplements um, because they think it's a homeopathic holistic uh, remedy instead of taking um, pills for stuff uh, for your libido and stuff like that this tell, tell them do not take this stuff because they will eventually get a prion disease and most likely probably die from it. I eventually probably going to die from it. Uh, I don't know when or how, but eventually probably will. It's spread throughout my whole body. Um, I don't have CJD. If I did, I'd be dead by now. Um, I have chronic wasting disease from taking the elk antler velvet spray. So um, <clears throat> spread the news to the sh to the supplement places, to people that own their own supplement stores. Do not. Do not sell those products because people will get sick and it is highly infectious and contagious when a person gets the disease and they are in the full-blown stages of, of the disease. It tells you right in the chronic wasting uh, signs and symptoms that it is easily spread and transmissible through saliva, urine, and feces. All right, guys, I just wanted to share the news knowledge for you, to you and tell you that the um, GNC actually pulled it off the shelves which I was actually uh, pretty awesome and pretty shocked about that. So I'm trying to get this story out and warn people um, because this is going to be a huge issue. I mean, they're blaming prion diseases causing Alzheimer's. It's prions that are causing Alzheimer's, uh, ALS, uh, Parkinson's disease, all that stuff. Even autism, I believe, uh, could be due to uh, infectious prions. So um, it's real, guys, and these diseases are spreading, and these diseases... Um, are, they're starting to see that they are infectious and people can, can pass them on to other people. Um, uh, they're, so, so, so they're starting to finally realize that. Um, I just wish that they realized that we can get chronic wasting disease as well um, from taking those, those kind of supplements. So, All right, guys, uh, keep you posted. Um, continue to watch my videos and um, continue to, uh, to learn from my mistakes. All right, guys, God bless. Take it easy.